I'm trying to figure out why Mercedes has three E's in it, but each E is pronounced differently. Mercedes. All right, so we are into plaid week day six and for today's video I wanted to stay true to my channel game and show you guys a jackpot haul from Dollar Tree Oh my gosh, and then afterwards we're gonna do a little a little plaid something something So stay tuned to the end and here is my plaid outfit of the day. I really love this plaid pattern I just got this at Kohl's. It is so gorgeous can see all the pops and that gold just has a really nice sparkle especially in the daylight and I love how thin it is so it's not too overwhelming it's just subtle enough and I'm wearing pops of gold jewelry and yeah and then I'm wearing this quilted black vest I don't know where I got this but it has a gold zipper so I feel like it just goes really nicely with this top and there's black obviously you could see that when I showed you up close but there's black in it so I really like it and that's Plaid just amazes me. You really can just do so many patterns. Um, okay, so without further ado, you know what? Let's just get into the haul and I'm gonna show you what I found. I'm gonna grab in no particular order, so some of this may come off pretty random. Look at these gel mini pens. Wow, this is gonna be a great gift. You could put together like uh, an art an art style type themed gift basket or just a gift like in a gift bag or something um, or you could put this in a stocking I think that it would fit pretty nicely and that really cute I love that I found another Conair braider but this one is for a fishtail I think the other one that I showed you guys which I think was in my Dollar Tree stocking stuffer ideas video um, was it a French braid one I can't remember what kind of braid it was, but here is a fishtail, and it just gives you the tools that you need to try to do the fishtail. Love those. I think those would also be great for stockings. And look how darling, look how darling this decor set is. It's like a night moon thing. This would be really cute for a baby shower. And I feel like it's nice enough that you could really you could use it when you're older i don't know if you can see but there's an imprint on the star there's eyes like they're sleeping and they also had this option in silver i believe but i really liked the gold oh my gosh i found a makeup palette like oh this is a this is an entire palette like i've never heard of this palette um city color and i guess it's called ooh la la and then you can just see that they've got names on all of the colors. Like, are you kidding me? Eiffel Tower. Oh, it has like a Paris theme. Yeah, all of the eyeshadows are Paris, I believe, France named. So who, I don't know. Never really been to France, but okay. Then I found, what do I, what bag do I grab next here? All right, let's go in. Let's go in with this one. As if I haven't shown you guys enough gift bags i have more i have i have more i have, I have more to show you oh man. my collection's getting out of control i believe in plaid week day seven you're going to see me sort through some of them so stay tuned for that um look this one's really funny i found some that have like a cheeky take to it t-rex hates tiny presents that's kind of mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that was hilarious. This one was really cute. Merry Crustmas. I think the color combination is really adorable, actually. And then, oh my gosh. It, it is really cute. Something about the the mint, mint green with the gold stars. I don't know. It's a really cute bag. And look, they did a little star for the tag okay i found these two never seen these before got santa and then the whole entire block of santa is like a pop-up so that's interesting you could always take him off and diy that some way somehow so i got those two and then i got doubles of this 
run to Dollar Tree to grab this one. This one is so nice. You've got all the different candy canes, snowflakes. Oh, I love it. I don't know what it is about it, but it's a really nice bag. So I got doubles of those. Here is this bag. I love the black nighttime sky theme. I don't know, it's so calming and pretty. Not, I don't know, just, this is like a cartoony farmhouse style, right? Plaid, hello, hello. It's plaid week. Santa loves plaid. I'm here for that. Happy holidays. This one's just really nice. Um, not geared towards Christmas, so if someone you're gifting to or if you don't celebrate, they've got this option here. So that's really nice. And then my favorites. These might be my, my favorites for 2019. It's kind of hard to say. I don't really, I don't really know, but how cute and the quality. I can't even describe the quality, but they are thick. Some bags have like a flimsy quality, like this one has more of a paper bag and it bends, but this one is so thick. I just cannot get over. I mean, the quality of this bag is superb. Look how cute they are. They're living in their own gingerbread land. Oh my goodness, I got three of these. And then and the only other bag I found in this collection, because you can just see, you know, that they go together. And I only found the reindeer. If there was like another set, please let me know and describe what it looks like. But he's skating. Like an, oh my god. And that looks like old school type skates. I really, oh, Argyle. I love it. Oh, and it matches his sweater. I mean, the detail for a dollar. It's everything. There's herringbone. Red herringbone. Oh, no, no, no. Houndstooth. Is that right? I don't, I don't know anymore. I'm not, I'm not a fashionista. Then they put out these wine boxes. I was wondering if they were going to do this. As I pulled out my, st my stash from like the previous years, I found some of the wine boxes that I've hauled. They were so nice. So these aren't my favorite. I feel like the ones that I've hauled before are nicer, but this Deck the Halls one is really cute. I found some tiny gift boxes. Wait, look at this. Isn't that cute? Some of their gift boxes are actually very, very nice. That's so adorable. There's pink in that. I don't know if you can tell. My camera's having a hard time today with color for some reason. I also see peaks of plaid in there. It's kind of hard to tell because I'm not opening these up. But here's the camper again. We've seen this print throughout the holiday season on my channel. Gift bags, tin cans, gift boxes. So really, really like it. Santa's really cute. I love those. Okay, let's move on. I found another Cake Boss item. This huge thing for a dollar. I, it's, oh my gosh, it is a flower cakelet pan. You can just pour cake batter in here basically and it'll just be in the shape of these little flower mini cakes. This one is going to get you and I feel like a lot of you are gonna be on the hunt for this one. <sighs> they put out these wall hanging decors with coffee beads on the inside. What? <laughs> Life happens, coffee helps with the blue background and you have the ribbon to hang it up with. Coffee bar. Oh my gosh, and I'm sure you could easily DIY this and maybe even change out the, the background color if you wanted to. Rise and grind. That's hilarious. And then the, the last one is, this house runs on love and coffee. This one has more of a farmhouse look just because of the color combination. I just, when I saw these, I was just like, okay. I don't know who's in charge at the Dollar Tree executive meetings, but they need a raise, okay? That's like, that's where I'm at with that, okay. Now let me show you some more tissue paper. I finally found some new options. So pretty. This gold foil snowflake. Very unique, very new. They've never done a snowflake with gold or in foil. So I love that. 
here's that um, herringbone or houndstooth. I'm confused. I think this is houndstooth. Doesn't this look very Chanel a little bit, right? And then just a classic polka dot with the green. I love this one. I just love classic looks, I guess. All right, finally, it's been a minute, but I've got some new stickers to share with you. They have more of a springtime look, but I don't care. I mean, I would buy Valentine's Day in October. That's just the kind of person I am, you know? And then this one's really cute. If you have a little girl, they're out of school or they're about to be out of school, you're gonna need to keep them busy. This is like, this is called the Sunny Day by Nickelodeon Puffy Salon Sticker. And then you can dress them up. It's kind of like paper dolls. And then I think they even give you a background. It's folded in half, but then you could probably fold it out and then place them like against the scene, if that makes sense. A dollar. This, this one, I highly recommend. Um, well, hopefully the stickers are good quality, but just looking at it, you know, for a dollar. Okay, this one is new for me because it's Jot. I love Jot. It's one of my favorite mini brands within Dollar Tree, and it is markers with eraser. But what I like about it is that they've put the markers inside the eraser, right? Is that what is that what they've done here? I believe so, because the other sets that I've bought from Dollar Tree, uh, they don't do that. The markers are separate, the eraser are separate, and this way you keep the whole set together and you get a nice black and red marker. And I use a dry erase board in my kitchen to plan out like my weekly meals. And yeah, okay, I've got some sponges, the usual. What do I show you next? Okay, this stuff is gonna, it's gonna shake you up. All right, look how cute. I found soap flakes. Okay, didn't even know soap flakes was a thing. I also didn't know that goat yoga was a thing. Yeah, I just found this out during like Thanksgiving. Apparently people put goats on their back while they do yoga. I had no idea. The whole table knew. My daughter knew. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I'm like a live goat? Like a real goat? Not like a stuffed animal? No, a goat gets on your back. Um, and I also didn't know that soap flakes is a thing too and it's a frozen theme you guys it's gonna be so cute in a stocking anyway you can see the snowflakes are in the shape of flakes like frozen flakes so i think that's really cute i love that find i feel like i've been talking your ear off so i'm sorry this is an led projector light and it shows you I'm really curious about this. I'm gonna try to test this out in this video and hopefully I'm putting up some sort of video. If not, it's because I didn't have batteries for it. But holy crap, how adorable is that? I only saw purple as an option, by the way. I don't know if there's others, but I only saw purple. Okay, then also related to the bath stuff, I found bathtub fizzies. And these are for kids and they are water coloring tablets and there's eight in each of them. They also had like Minnie Mouse and they had the ones with the puppies. What's the show with the puppies? Paw Patrol. I think they had that. I don't even know how I know that because Paw Patrol was not in my daughter's generation. How do I even know that? I don't even know. But isn't this nice? This could also be a great stocking stuffer. Okay. Now let's get on to the last things before we dive into the next part of the video. Um, I don't think I've ever seen Dollar Tree put out jewelry, but they did that. They did that. They did it. Really fun because these the shapes of these earrings are also very trendy. So I find it even more uh, impressive that Dollar Tree put out trendy style jewelry and a lot of geometric shapes are in right now like this square right here so you get the square earrings and they even give you like doubles this one has that um, sort of hexagon look to it 
and then just some classic hoops. There's some that look like hearts, yeah. So this back row right here, can you see that? This back one has the dip of the heart, and then you can see the rest of the shape. Oh my gosh, these are going to be outstanding stocking stuffers. If you know the person loves jewelry and they love wearing, uh, like, you know, medium sized hoops. Who saw the hoop skit from SNL with JLo? Oh my God, I laughed so hard. Like you just don't wanna know how hard I laughed. It was hilarious. I think JLo's a superb actress. I feel like I wish she would do more to be honest. All right, so that's it for the haul. Now let's dive into the next part of the plaid video. All right, so what I thought I would do is take you through this part in my living room that I wanted to decorate, but I never got around to it. And so I was thinking, what do I have on hand? Because as most of you know, I created this Christmas 2019 budget for myself and I just completed my budget. And so I really wanted to attempt to decorate this space with something I already had on hand. And I've had this wreath for a while. Um, it's so gorgeous. It's so worth the buy because as you saw, I was plucking off hearts from it. And it's a DIY that I I did on this channel for Valentine's Day and the reason why I didn't hot glue those hearts down was for this very reason so that I could repurpose it for another holiday or another season so I plucked the hearts straight up and they were Dollar Tree heart picks by the way and then I just found some plaid ribbon I already had lying around and I just decided to do a simple knot, but you can do a fancy bow if you wanted to. I really wanted to keep it simple because the section that I'm going to drape this wreath um, already, I think, has enough focal point things because there's these uh, professional photos of my daughter and you're going to see that really quick. Um, so I just wanted to keep the plaid really simple and I just finished off the tail ends and this is where I'm going to hang it. So you can see you've got the metal mirror. You've got the pictures of her and I love that the pictures of her are like natural where she's in grass so that's green so I thought that hanging this wreath right there was very complimentary I love how it turned out super super simple but what I really the reason why I wanted to share this one little piece of my plaid idea with you guys is to show you that you can pull from things around your house and repurpose it and I think it's just it's a showpiece for me and I can't believe that I had this lying around the house. I think I got this wreath from Hobby Lobby and while it was on sale 50% off so it really wasn't that much either and I will keep interchanging it out from for the seasons and holidays to come. So that is my idea and trick for the day. Um, repurpose things that you have and hopefully you felt inspired. Thank you so much for watching Plaid Week Day 6 and I'll see you for 7.